Hello, my name is David Bruce, and I work in the material handling segment at Fanuc America. The following presentation will explain how to properly set the Part Z height in an IR vision vision process. The key to getting accurate information from a vision process is to properly calibrate the camera and set the Part Z height information correctly in the vision process. The Part Z height field is only available with vision processes which use a calibration which was done in perspective mode. A single plane grid calibration can be done in perspective mode, but the lens focal distance needs to be entered manually. Two plane grid calibration or robot generated grid calibration are the best methods for achieving an accurate perspective calibration. With an orthogonal calibration, it is assumed that the camera is exactly perpendicular to the field of view and the plane of the calibration grid is the exact same plane where the 2D features are located. This means that when using an orthogonal calibration, the camera to part distance must always match the camera to calibration grid distance from calibration. IR Vision reports positional information in millimeters and degrees relative to the offset frame specified in the vision process. This is a user frame or tool frame whose Z axis is perpendicular to the plane in which the parts are located in and in which they will move around. When possible, the Z axis of the offset frame should be parallel with the optical axis of the camera. Some vision process types do not have the offset frame option. For these vision process types, positional information is relative to the application frame selected in the calibration used by that vision process. Using perspective calibration allows IR vision to calculate accurate 2D positional information for parts regardless of their distance from the camera. Because the millimeters per pixel value changes with the camera to part distance, IR Vision needs to know what this distance is. IR Vision calculates the camera to part distance by knowing the camera position, which is discovered during calibration, the current position of the offset frame, and the part Z height, which is entered by the user. Using these three values, IR Vision can accurately calculate the camera to part distance. By calculating the camera to part distance in this way, the user is not required to directly measure the camera to part distance, which would be very difficult to do accurately. When possible, the offset frame Z axis and the optical axis of the camera should be parallel. With perspective calibration, the camera can be at an angle to the offset frame and accurate information is still calculated. The Z axis of the offset frame can point away from or towards the camera. The tool frame or user frame origin location can be anywhere, but the distance from the origin of the offset frame to the part feature being located by the vision process needs to be known in the Z dimension only and entered as the part Z height. In this first tool offset example, using a zero tool frame and a part that is positioned 185 millimeters away from the faceplate, the part Z height would be positive 185 millimeters. The part Z height is positive because the Z axis points out of the faceplate. In this second tool offset example, the tool frame origin is moved to some random location and the orientation of the tool frame is changed such that the z-axis points up. The part z-height for this case is negative 65 millimeters. Negative because the z-axis points up and the feature is located below the TCP. For the third tool offset example, the part is held at a 15 degree angle from the robot faceplate and the orientation of the tool frame is such that its z-axis is in line with the optical axis of the camera. The correct part z height for this example is positive 22.2 millimeters because the tool frame origin is located 22.2 millimeters below the feature being located and the z-axis points up to the camera. In this first example of a fixed frame offset, the offset frame user frame has been taught to the top corner of the table with the z-axis pointing up towards the camera. The part Z height for this vision process will be 75 millimeters, which is the height of the part as it sits on the table. In this second fixed frame offset example, the offset frame user frame is zero or world, and the world frame origin for any FANUC robot is at the center of J1 and at the height of J2, and the positive Z axis will point towards J3, which means for this example the part Z height would be positive 239 millimeters. In this third example, a table is located at an angle to the robot's world. The camera is located perpendicular to that table and the offset frame has been taught to the corner of the table with its orientation aligned with the table. The part Z height for this example is the same as example number one, positive 75 millimeters. In this last fixed frame example, I want to illustrate that while as a general rule the offset frame Z axis should be parallel to the optical axis of the camera, 
With some applications, it is simply not possible to have the camera normal to the offset frame. With a perspective calibration, accurate positional information is still obtained for a camera that is at an angle to the offset frame. In this example, the offset frame z-axis is perpendicular to the table. The part z-height for this example is positive 75 millimeters. It is not possible to use an orthogonal calibration for a camera which is not normal to its offset frame. In conclusion, the key factors to remember are the offset frame user frame or tool frame should represent the plane in which the parts are going to move around. Whenever possible, the camera should be positioned such that its optical axis is parallel with the z-axis of the offset frame. The part z-height can be a negative value if the part feature is located in the negative z-direction of the offset frame. An inaccurate part z-height will cause issues with overall vision-guided performance. Thank you very much for watching this IR Vision tutorial on how to properly set the part z-height.